What's going on, everybody? My name is Hao Vu, and this is the Hao Vu Moto Vlog. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's been a little while since I've shot a video. I'm still hanging out here in Southern California. I'm still hanging out, living full-time in my Honda Element. For those of you who are new to the party, my goal is to travel to all of America's national parks, or as many as I can, while living full-time in my SUV. So the topic of today's video is the things that I hate about living full time in an SUV. I was feeling really good this morning, so I decided to shoot a video about all the things I hate about living in my SUV. Um, it's a little bit misleading being on YouTube. You have to be a little bit misleading with your with your titles, I'm afraid. But um, I wanna talk before I get into the video about, about hating, right? I always talk about gratitude on the channel and um, when I say hate, I mean there are certain things that are annoying and uncomfortable when you live in an SUV, a tiny, tiny, tiny SUV, right? You have to make some sacrifices, and I think it's just a matter of mindset. It's just a matter of perspective. When you look at those discomforts and those annoyances and those setbacks and those stresses, they're really just opportunities for you to increase the happiness in your life or decrease the stress, right? You can always look at the other side of the coin. So when things get a little bit annoying, it's an opportunity to find the silver lining, find something to be grateful for, right? Every day that I go without a hot shower makes the hot shower I do get that much better. And when I'm in that moment showering and cleaning my body and cleansing myself, I can re remind myself to be grateful how good this feels. I won't take this for granted anymore. And it's a practice, right? It's just a practice, a gratitude practice. It doesn't happen overnight, but you get a little bit better every time. And I think it really starts with, with seeing those stresses and those discomforts and those annoyances. They're just opportunities for you to learn and grow and be happier, right? You're not always going to be at a point where you're like super smiling happy, like singing out loud all the time, that's unrealistic, right? But you can use those opportunities to just grow a little bit at a time. So you're just like on an even keel, right? Just experiencing the things that you need to experience and just, just growing and enjoying the journey, enjoying the moment. And that's what I'm trying to do. So let's get into it. The number one thing that I probably hate about living in a car is the bathroom situation. It's it's definitely the, the most uncomfortable, awkward, annoying thing for me. Um, basically not having a bathroom in the car, not having running water, and having to go to Planet Fitness to shower. Don't get me wrong, I am eternally grateful for Planet Fitness. It, it just blows my mind how many locations there are throughout the United States. And for $25 a month, not only can I work out, um, but I can shower there and I can shave and I can and I can poop and pee um, but And it's 24 hours like it's crazy. It's like it's pretty crazy on the weekends They're not 24 hours, which is which is what I'll get into um, in a bit But the planet fitnesses that I go to generally even if the bathrooms are nice and modern There are some downsides and for me it's the men's bathroom in particular. I don't know about the women's bathroom, so if some women have Planet Fitness experience, please let me know because the men, if not held accountable, are just slobs. I mean, it's downright disgusting what they do to the bathroom. Um, I've seen blood. I've seen pubic hair. I've seen like scrunched up balls of like tissue paper, paper towels, like sh razors. I've seen like baby powder spilled all over the floor, just like anything you can imagine. It's it's pretty gross. There's always pee on the floor. Um, when I when I go take a number two at Planet Fitness, I don't even let my shorts touch the floor. I like I like hold them at my knees because that's how gross it is. Like seriously, um, shower sandals are an absolute must. I found a pair of like rubber Nike shower sandals that have like little holes in them so they drain and dry quickly. I mean, it's an absolute essential for me. Um, there's like changing stalls in the Planet Fitness across from each shower stall, right? And sometimes dudes are in there for like 45 minutes doing God knows what. I mean, I can't tell you how often this happens, right? I don't know if they're like van life in it or just homeless or whatever, but they'll bring like seven bags with them into like a duffel bag, two plastic bags, a grocery bag, and they'll just chill in there doing whatever for like 45 minutes. I can't, I can't make this up, guys. Um, so it can be pretty gross at times. I have to like check each day like which which stall I'm gonna use because like which one is like the cleanest free of like any nasty like super nasty things. Um, and bless their hearts at Planet Fitness. It's, it's hard during these times to find people that want to take jobs like that and um, they don't have like a dedicated bathroom cleaning crew. 
I mean, it's like $10 a month for most people. Like, what do you expect? Right. So like, I'm, I'm like super grateful for that, but just, just how it is. Um, I try to find other places to poop around the area. That's the kind of benefit of being in an area for a long period of time when you're just traveling on the road and just passing through, right. You just take what you can get. But since I've been in Southern California for a little while, I like know where I want to go and where I like to hang out and like what libraries are best and where the best bathrooms are and stuff like that, like the cleanest, most private bathrooms. So, but, um, aside from that, I think that, um, being in the car, not having access to a bathroom all the time. Like when I had an apartment and I had a really nice clean bathroom that I maintained, like super clean, you could eat off the floor, but now it's just like if I want to wash my face if I want to wash my hands if I need to poop if I need to shower if I want to take two showers a day or something like that just like like that I can't do that anymore right just having access to plumbing and running water is something that I will never take for granted anymore um having access to really nice toilet paper I always used to buy the best toilet paper right like spared no expense on toilet paper now it's just like that single ply like you can read the newspaper through it very cheap stuff that's my life now um, I do have a pee bottle, which my buddy Steven Aldaco mentioned in his, um, one of his YouTube videos, which I thought was amazing because I think that everybody that lives in their car has a pee bottle, right? Whether they want to admit it or not. I use a 64 ounce sweet tea bottle. I just bought it from Target. I don't drink sweet tea, so I just poured it out and, um, it, it works out really, really well. It has a nice wide opening and, um, it has good capacity. I dump it out like in a bush or something like that every day. It's like never been a problem. Um, but it's like one of my most essential things the pee bottle like seriously i love the pee bottle um and my gut is pretty solid so i don't find myself having to poop like randomly throwing up food poisoning it doesn't happen too often but um it's just kind of a bummer sometimes not to have like direct access to a bathroom i have to kind of like plan things around like when i'm gonna shower like plan my day if i'm gonna be active if, if i'm gonna be sweating if, I, if i'm gonna skip a shower today or whatever right so um you know there's less freedom there with the bathroom situation and the bathroom situation at a public gym that costs ten dollars a month is not always the cleanest option so that's basically that's basically um my number one most annoying most most hated thing about living life on the road um i guess if i had to pick a number two it would probably be i guess doing laundry um I have to go to a laundromat to do laundry. And actually, I've enjoyed going to the laundromat. I've never gone to the laundromat before, but it's it's kind of cool, like, getting the quarters and using the machines and people watching and, like, watching people go in and out and seeing what they're washing and, like, you know, finding something to do on my phone while I wait for my clothes to dry. I have, like, my little routine. It's actually pretty fun. Um, but when I have to wash my bedding, that's kind of a pain in the butt. And um, it's really not even worth complaining about, but which, you know, this is kind of what this video is about. Living on the road, being free for me, it means a lot to be free. So like these little annoyances, like that's all they are to me, but like I'm kind of like nitpicking here. So getting back to it, washing the bedding. I have a memory foam little mattress and on top of that, it's a Japanese floor mattress, right? Like on top of that. So it's like layers. And then I wrap that in a fitted sheet and the fitted sheet has like little quilted pillow top kind of thing. And um, it's so annoying to get that on and off because usually I'm not opening all my doors and like letting people see like, hey, I live here and this, these are my mattresses and I'm doing my laundry. Like I, I try to keep it stealthy. So like I'm still inside the car breaking all this down. And it's kind of like trying to put a condom over a piece of lasagna. If I, not that I've ever done that and probably neither of you have. If you have, please definitely let me know in the comments because that's a very unique situation. But um, that's kind of what it's like. There's these layers and I'm kind of like having to stretch and unstretch this thing and get it off. And it's, it's kind of a bummer to do that in the car, stealthing it. Um, I don't like it. I get all sweaty doing it. Um, number three, number three probably could have been number two, actually, definitely. So we'll switch these in our minds, but, um, it's, it's the heat. It's the temperature regulation in the car right now. I'm in beautiful, beautiful Southern California, and I'm so grateful for the weather here. It's amazing being able to go to the beach it's just like, you can't really beat it. Um, but my car is kind of dark in color on the outside. It's like a dark maroon color. And even with the tinted windows that I got a couple weeks ago, I, I spared no expense. I went out to the OC tint shop and I got like limo tint all around, like ceramic, UV, whatever, like the best of the best. And it has been a game changer in terms of stealth, in terms of keeping the car cool when I'm driving, in terms of night. When I put my heat shield 
up at night with the tinted windows, no light leaks out and it just looks completely normal. Like you can't, you can like tell much, much, much less that it looks suspicious that someone might be living in the car. So it's just, it's amazing. Um, at night though, it does kind of suck. It's like super dark at night to the point where if I really need to see, I'll even have to roll down the windows. It's like really dark to see out of these windows at night. So being in a hot car, being in a little oven, um, without temperature regulation, I guess that climate control, I guess that's a, that's a bummer sometimes as well. Cause you don't always want to be out and about, you know what I mean? Like you're not always going to be like hiking or camping or visiting national parks. The reality of it is, is that you're going to have to settle into a routine sooner or later. It's just, or at least for me, you know, it's not feasible to be traveling all the time and be constantly like looking up where you're going to go next and like moving with the prices of gas are like astronomical in California. So you know, it, it is kind of nice to just hang out for a little while, take your time. Um, I've been like even finding jobs like so I can make some extra money on the side and just prepare for travel season. And I have a chunk of time where I'm traveling and then just kind of like stay in one spot for a little while. I think that's what I'm going to be doing moving forward. I'm going to stay in one spot. I'm going to work a little bit, find jobs that I like. I'm going to explore the parks around that area, explore like state parks, national monuments, just like things like that instead of just being laser focused parks national parks national parks national parks national parks right I knocked out a lot last travel season I think I'm gonna tone it down and, and switch things up this travel season and see how that works out but guys that's it the three worst things about living in the car if I can think of more maybe I'll drop it in the comments if I forgot anything or if there's something that you absolutely hate about living in your car please let me know in the comments as always, if you've made it to the very end, thank you so much. I know my videos are very long, so it means the world to me. And as always, I wish you peace, health, and unlimited joy on your journey wherever it may take you. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the next one.